we'll come back to the lecture. Uh, there have been a lot of discussion about vision, uh, mission, vision, strategy, whether measurable or not. This gives you an idea uh, about typical uh, work steps to conceive and formulate programs. See, uh, you develop program idea looking at triggers, monitor, develop program idea in terms of functions, what to achieve, right? Enabling means how, that's methodology, right? And how to raise money and how much does that cost? And in between programs, typically involved at least five, many times, say, uh, tens of stakeholders on the various level. There are stakeholders who are in favor of the program. There are stakeholders who offend uh, the program ideas, like building a casino in uh, metropolitan Tokyo, right? or the waste treatment facilities in uh, towns. I tell you the typical, uh, you know, the uh, breakdown uh, contents of these. And then once you have base program model, you do alternative analysis, sensitivity analysis, what if? What if? Scenario analysis. And uh, we learned a little bit about risk theory. Most of the time, investment project goes through, investment program goes through risk analysis. Risk analysis is not just analysis, protection against negative risk. As I said, risks in the modern definition is either opportunities or negative adverse impacts of uncertainty. So investments, a typical application scenario of risk theories. And then you come out with uh, program model. And on that, the finance planning, finance planning is going on. So this is uh, just for your reference, program management fundamentals or this class is supported by value management theory, systems approach in project management, project finance engineering, project relations management. This project relations is like uh, continuing win-win relationship with your customers, stakeholders. That's Japanese are very good at. Right? Like a keretsu, or the proven relationship between suppliers as a, as a customer, you as a customer. Right? That's relationship. Relationship provides new opportunities for business, repeat business. So this is a metaphor talking about weapons for program formulation. Uh, these five weapons in uh, blue uh, came from Ministry of Economy and Trade and the Industries uh, New Economic Growth Strategy, original version. The eco New Economic Growth Strategy, Shinkeizo the current one is the version three. The original one was uh, formulated in uh, 2006. So as a metaphor, weapons for program formulation, the capital, finance. Capital means production facilities like factories. This finances means loans, investments, et cetera. 
human resources, of course, technology, and management capability. Before government offices, it not referred to management, but in this, the, for the first time in the major state policy strategy, the term, uh, you know, management or management capability uh, is stressed. So this is very much interesting. And then I added uh, two more things. We need uh, engine as project systems of engine, that means project systems engineering. Integration of engineering disciplines to make a good program, create a good program. And you have a chassis, parts, engine, but it's not all. If you don't have a driver, the car may go anywhere, right? So you need a pilot or a driver. That's program management. This is a metaphor that is very clear cut to understand the concept of program management. So typically, we use this. I have borrowed this uh, five, uh, no, six W1H model from uh, PGM guidebook of Project Management Association in Japan. You have quite similar formula like 5W2H, et cetera. So questions of who? Mission owner, whom? Who are beneficiaries, why? Reason of the mission, what? Uh, actually, what are you going to uh, deliver as a result of program implementation? When, by which time, and how? This is methodology, methods for mission realization, in which is that a lot of factors, political, social, environmental, that may affect your program, right? So this uh, is another way of uh, uh, say the uh, modeling your program. <coughs> Modify the smart, that is quite often used in your lab. Smart stands for specific, measurable, achievable, result-oriented, time-bound. So this uh, is linked to what uh, Slash kindly uh, suggested to the class, right? The logic is that this is mission level, and the next one is uh, goals level. Goals are more clear-cut, measurable ones. And we analyze program in terms of a mission and uh, uh, objectives vertically and horizontally. First of all, action logic, what to do, key success factors. See, in this Philippine infrastructure program case, key success factors should be uh, quantified ones. Number of projects completed, number of completed pioneer engineering design, number of completed green corridor pro project, increase in what percentage number, and source of planning. Which are governing sources of uh, planning? Say, regulation, government regulations, uh, publicly common. Uh, rules, statistics, things like that. You're doing exercises on this, right? So again, the big, initially big, rich program should be evolved to be more specific or targeted at the measurable objectives. That's the way that program management Initial part, we say program management, but it's uh, in the second generation of program management, it's different from project management. We say management, but actually it starts from strategy, testing of a program, conceptualization, design, planning, 
before management. So that's broad term of the management used in program management. This is true for enable means analysis. Actually, we have to elaborate on, you have to tick, apply this, and then tick. Uh, more in concrete, but because of time limitation, I'm just showing shopping list of tools for enabling means analysis, right? For instance, management method means methodology to realize your programs, what design, conceive, design, and implement management, uh, management, manage the implementation of program, right? Uh, a lot of shopping list. I think you are familiar with uh, many of these. Uh, are there any questions for uh, about some particular item of this? Uh, I'm not really familiar. I'm not uh, professor of uh, business administration, but generally, I would uh, answer your question if you have any. This is a quite common one, seemingly. We do, for instance, fishbone analysis, that's cause and uh, effect analysis. All the manufacturing company use this, uh, or project company use this one. What is the cause of this accident or the failure, right? Traces, cause, uh, causes, right? It's like uh, fishbone, jokotsu. Logic tree, that's the logical breakdown, option strategy. Knowledge management. Knowledge management is famous as uh, Professor Ikujiro Nonaka uh, published with his colleague, Professor Takeuchi, Hirotaka Takeuchi, now back at the Harvard University. They published a book, knowledge creating, The Knowledge Creating Company. And, uh, in Japan, Japan Advanced Institute of Science and uh, Technology, JAIST, Hokuriku Sentan Kanku Gizu Daigaku in Daigaku, is the one which is famous for uh, knowledge science major, cre originally created, founded by uh, Professor Nonaka. And now, Nonaka sensei is, uh, you know, the uh, followers, uh, professors there. I'm joining them. I'm actually teaching uh, one course at JAIST, more heavily studying next year, okay? This, you have done uh, already this uh, stakeholder relationship analysis. The point is that not just showing the picture surrounding you and having connection with you as a program manager, differentiates the uh, types of relationship, whether it's donated service, cooperation, business, competition, uh, the list goes on. About financing, uh, I think pronunciation, financing is American pronunciation. In uh, British English, it's called uh, finance, financial and financing. Uh, in uh, British English, uh, we call it finance, but American equivalent term is financing, isn't it? UC. There are several. Uh, first of all, we know corporate finance. That's direct bankers uh, loan to corporations, not to project, right? So corporation itself is assessed uh, whether they are given the credit or not. The second is a project uh, uh, finance. Uh, American uh, term is finance, or American term is project financing. In this case, in this case, loan is provided for a particular project itself, personified uh, project, personified project. Hojin, Giji Hojin Tekna project, so it means. So the project itself is very charming, profitable, according to very severe 
analysis, right? And uh, this stable over the term that you can generate profits out of the uh, project. Why project financing, financing was created? Uh, some of the developing countries, like Indonesia, they have a great potential. However, their debt servicing ratio was very high before, say, 20 years ago. Debt servicing ratio is kokkasaimu uh, hensaiditsu, debt servicing ratio. But it's true that Indonesian crude oil, that's a very good low sulfur crude oil, can sell. And so having that crude oil produced in Indonesia and refined one uh, as product, bankers or the financing institution, investors provide loans to the project itself. And that loan is not counted as that corporation's owner's debt because it's not uh, debt. It's a sort of uh, investment, in term, although it's called uh, financing. So that's the start of this idea. And uh, nowadays, so-called uh, PPP, what is PPP? Uriko san, you are a professional. Yes. Public, private, partnership. In Japan, many times it's been called PFI, public finance, uh, private financing initiative. But PPP is the original term born in the uh, UK under the such a government. Uh, the, the, this, the UK spent so much budget, and so instead of letting the government do the public works, they invite a private initiative to join, and then the, the, such a government will be the one that will work. That's project finance. Uh, government will be known, of course, almost all public works used to be financed by the government. And uh, its international version is international aid agencies. So who is Japan's international aid agency? What's the name of the Japanese uh, international aid agency? Anybody? Uh, there are two, but, uh, not, not one, two. Any idea? ODA. Huh? ODA. ODA, that's that's common term. Yes. Specific name of the agency. That's provide money for you, for instance. JICA, Japan Agency for International Cooperation. That's called JICA. Uh, JBEC, Japan Bank for International Cooperation. JBEC. Two. JBEC is more oriented for uh, industrial development. JICA takes care of everything. Yes, humanity, uh, uh, capacity building, and uh, the JICA absorb former OECD, uh, OECF, sorry, OECF, so it's banking function as well. Okay? And in the United States, some of the public works are financed by revenue bond. It's different from municipality bond because that revenue bond is earmarked for that particular pub public works project. Earmarks means Himotsuki mo tokuten ni koko ni kimete. 
ですね。イエマーっていうのは、これ書いてます。こいつですね。えー In the United States, in the States, raised this level of war, but it's prohibited in Japan now. But many municipalities voice that we should have a l e v e l of war. For instance, the development of Eco Smart Cities in Okayama, they are voicing that government should、uh, liberate the market. And lease finance, it's not quite.、Uh, Often be heard, but finance provides some of it. For instance, Oryx Corporation, the Japanese Sogo Shosha, provides a plant itself for manufacturing and、uh, lend it to o w n e r So, o w n e r don't need, doesn't need you know, initial investment, just pays charges for the lease. That's the same as a lease or a rental,、okay? same way. So that's, this can apply to multi hundred million dollar、uh, projects. It's not well known, it's another way of financing.、Uh, basic question I skip this. So this shows Philo's scheme development. Money. Does not come automatically. You need, first of all, very clear cut, visible, and viable, visible schemes, right? In the <coughs> concept, project, preliminary project scheme. And then on this, you invite the idea of the preliminary finance scheme, whether it's、uh, project financing, PPP, BOT. Big open transfer. And then incorporate the preliminary、uh, finance scheme proposed by investors. You develop i n t e r i m project scheme for investors. And based on this, you invite competitive schemes of、uh, proposed financing.、Yes? Owners want to buy as attractive as, want to have as attractive financing practices as possible. And then finally,、uh, finance closure. Yes, so this is financial industry jargon. Closure means agreement. agreement. It's not end. Closure is agreement. This is how to create a feasible and optimal finance structure developed by my student in France, but actually he is an expert at the major European bank. Uh, corporate financing. So, have a look at this. We are interested. So, we showed this. I said six win. Why six win? Good for six part. The government of the Philippines looks at this、uh, bioethanol project as resource based strategy. Philippines is an agricultural country. We like to utilize sugar cane for more value added. Uh, purposes. Thereby, calling foreign investment, new energy model, contribution to sustainability as a Philippine state. <clears throat> And for investors, not only opportunity for,、uh, to, to create cash flow, but also you can procure the image of a green company, green investor. And export. That business model to some other countries in Asia, but not Brazil. Brazil is f o r e i g n l y the new bioethanol business. And all the companies for, can be a f o r e i g n l y bio based new energy business and can export the model, business model to a r country. But German company, power company, they are obliged by laws to increase. The contents of renewable energy in their you know,、uh, merchandise products, power, petroleum products. So it's nice 
to utilize this. And the uh, contract company, it's okay, it could be a bio green and jail construction company. So, scenario analysis. Uh, I said that one single scenario is dangerous, and it's that cannot be used on the major side investment. So you test your base scenario uh, by alternatives, right? Looking at environmental situation of changes as well as implementation of scenario changes to test whether a base plan is robust or not. Almost can can know the chiral. So this is what if simulation. You change the primary parameters, right? And look at the result. Usually you don't do it manually, but leave it to computer simulation. So this is some of uh, let's say uh, alternative analysis. Look at the premier Philippine result. This is going one the single source of Philippine capital. One company does it previously. Or another alternative, the one alternative is Philippine cap, capital capital to global result chain, like uh, say uh, what if it's uh, Mediterranean cloud, something like that. And Philippine capital from uh, plus capitals from new uh, few Focus country like Japan, Korea, China. There are so many Korean tourists in the Philippines, Cebu, etc. So similar marketing. The design structure, this is break the program players into project levels. So looking at consider stakeholders, uh, finance conditions, alternative strategy, to meet the given structure, functions, the original functions, what to do, can do, operability and new value, whether that project is split to support new value that intended. And then the written down to say project A, B, C, D, E, F, For instance, on that particular Philippine Green Future Innovation Phase two project using bioethanol, uh, the program is uh, looking down into this investor formation project, how to get to better investors, sugarcane supply assurance project, how to get tied with farmers' federation supplying stability. What is the problem here? That's once talked about very long, using sugarcane as base material for creating biotech. Competition with sugarcane with its original use as you know, nutrition material, food, right? So sugarcane prices rose tremendously because of the boom of uh, making uh, bioethanol production based on ethanol. Plant skin, uh, commercialization, actual plant construction, and off-day contracted budget. What's off-day? What's off-day? Mulikosan, any idea? Off-day. The typical term. Of take means uh, commit yourself to buy products from certain production facilities for a prolonged year, say five years, ten years. That's called of take. So in this case, our companies, the general company, they are of takers or bioethanol. Uh, Indian Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor 
project. It's called a project, but actually that's absolutely program. So DMIC program consists of three streams. The one is, of course, a physical infrastructure project. You build a new airport, upgrade an existing airport, logistic parks, power plants, uh, increase in load and uh, rail connectivity. This is infrastructure side. Now, it's called infrast uh, the industrial corridor. So you need industrial, industrial infrastructure project, like existing upgrade and existing industrial clusters, sign your park, sign your uh, new industrial clusters, uh, comprehensive urban processing zones. So, Suresh uh, Swan, what is the hidden agenda of this uh, program? This it's not shown here. Uh, it's him, this agro process. If you're a politician, what do you say? cater to farmers who are big voters okay, to provide agro-processing uh, so on to stimulate uh, you know, elevation of uh, farmers, incomes of farmers in those five western states. And of course, creating human talent, that's a very important part of this major size for the project. So knowledge hubs, township including Japanese village, of course you could do with karaoke facilities, Japanese restaurant. Because this is India Japan state province. Right? So evaluation programs. Uh, there are similar <coughs> ways lined up here. For instance, uh, First test you do is uh, all of these are familiar. Uh, you're familiar with this, and this is project lineup. This is criteria for evaluation: capital asset value, knowledge value, ownership value. This is win-win relationship, innovation value. Right? And uh, this uh, about this uh, evaluation sheet, we have private sector project as well as public sector project. A little bit different. The criteria on private sector project is uh, oh sorry, it's, of course this we are talking about economics of profitability, growth potential, it's very important. Right? It must be a going concern. So you have to grow and continuously add values, corporate values. Otherwise, you will stop the growing. This growth potential. Market share, whether this profile is low enough to support the project. It's like gambling. So low risk profile means level of risk involved in the programs. Okay? Sustainability, that's new criteria to evaluate uh, projects, programs. Okay? This is one sample of uh, program evaluation. Uh, this, if we are talking about the public sector project like regional innovation, uh, we are scared whether a project, program or component project uh, is, uh, uh, can uh, contribute what types of state, regional, societal benefits. What does the levels of investment cost? 
and uh, therefore applying on taxpayers' citizens, as well as transparency of program. This is public project progress, as well as contribution to sustainability. So this is OECD sustainability assessment measure by scales of minus three to plus uh, three. Of course, plus three is the highest. I met a uh, former OECD uh, say, department manager of sustainability, uh, Dr. Candice uh, Stevens. Uh, who is American who speaks uh, French after having lived in Paris for 25 years. Uh, and uh, without permission, I'm uh, quoting OECD's uh, sustainability assessment measures. So the idea is that OECD's assessment does not just stay with economic impact, but also look at uh, what are measurable environmental impacts, greenhouse gas emissions, energy efficiency, pollution output, natural resource inputs, biodiversity. Biodiversity is in Japanese, save to Taiyose. It's key in the new sustainability era. Right? And social impact, because it creates job opportunities, whether the project is uh, uh, compatible with the community interest, uh, how about the gender equity? Okay, this is a very good uh, key question nowadays. And P2M provides uh, more uh, sophisticated evaluation criteria. I don't elaborate this because of time limitation, but the reason that uh, PTRAN has been evaluated very high in the rest of the world is that born as I was 2001, the program evaluation criteria already included the measures like uh, not only economic value, but uh, ethics, ecology, and uh, social accountability. Right? Those days, say 10 years ago, two project programs are very much uh, oriented towards economics or industrial growth. Very few talked about CSR or ecology sustainability. But this standard incorporated this. That, that's why people, European people, uh, understand how, you know, the once this, uh, you know, the evaluation criteria is. Of course, uh, many of, the, of my students complain that idea is very good, not just this global standard, it is very good, but English is bad. That means not necessarily correct to redundant to us, you know, English speaking, native or semi native speakers. English must be concise, straight to the point. That's what the American value will have. So Japanese used to tend tended to value the documents by thickness. But Westerners, Americans especially, they look at just exactly summaries. That should be within one, 10,000 words. That's, that's a real, you know, the, the opportunity to prove that you are efficient. This is good. Okay. Uh, let's skip this. So, thank you very much. I, uh, when this slide I conclude the lecture part. And uh, in the afternoon, we are parted into how many of us? Probably two program workshop teams. Would you like to have more?
Three is okay. Maximum three. Three might be okay. Um, okay, it, it depends on the topics. Yes. I'm showing. I distribute it. So you eliminate the idea. Oh, sorry. Uh, as a primer, uh, you know the term primer, priming? It's pompu no, hajime no mizu, yubi mizu. I listed four things, potential things. One is expansion of, uh, extension of uh, onsen paradise, world onsen paradise in Tohoku. Uh, and then, Say, for instance, I titled it Tohoku Eco Tour for European tourists, not just print, European tourists. And the second one is building an eco smart community program in Tohoku or elsewhere. Yes? Advanced medicine program. That's a team here. And a more broader one. And uh, the fourth is the revival of Japan's fisheries industry program. And of course, I uh, invite you to uh, propose some more. It has an idea. Uh, I think at least there are two you can choose. That. How many rooms are available? So you say four. Four. Maximum four. But since it takes more, you know, Efforts than the previous project management workshop, preferably we should limit ourselves to maximum three teams. Or two, two teams would be a good idea. Raise your hand. So the first one, to pay to work, how many of you uh, would like to challenge this? Community? Two, three. three. Let's put them in. Advanced Medicare? Excuse me. Revival of Japan's fisheries industry. Toku Suisan Yo no Fuko. Looks like any other good ideas? Well, it's okay that you alone can challenge. Yes? I joined you. So, three? Plus three? And do you remember that I just gave you some keywords as hint of all of these, right? You are not supposed to, you are not necessarily required to abide by the uh, uh, keywords, but uh, to facilitate what's behind what's, what's behind this title. For instance, I gave you this tick mark, just the key uh, initial challenges for you, for each of you. Uh, for instance, if I were you in certain things, then uh, I think about all of this. But I have, sorry, I have no concrete idea after I said this and that. So just have a look at for idea generation. But we're not bound by these keywords, right? So. Uh, is there anyone who has not decided? You, you joined the group? Okay. 
any other person? First of all, also you are colleagues, and then you pick up the idea. Raise the hand. Uh, you, uh, do you prefer? Home to address. Okay, well, so, Mr. Shimizu. For Hope Echo Tour, second in uh, uh, Smart City, and third is Good. Thank you very much for your participation. So, I briefly talked about which slides can be skipped. I gave you the full scope of exercise, but uh, I don't think that you all have enough time to complete. So, I, I put priority. I show you the uh, Slides marked with uh, priority after lunch. So let's say put it uh, 30 minutes. Is, we need one hour, 30 minutes. Quick lunch is OK. And then we can start up to 1 uh, 10, 1 10. Is that all right? Come back here? Yes. OK. 1 10, ready to start. First, do not. Distribute get distributed. I, I give you the uh, five minutes uh, notes to the present I mean, exercise. Okay. Enjoy your lunch. So the lunch is available at the basement uh, convenience store or Tokyo department store. Or even you can try.